Church in Taos, New Mexico. Hear these words from 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 to 10. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. Today is the first Sunday after Easter and in many churches it's celebrated as Bright Sunday, the Sunday of light and laughter and love, seeing the laughing risen Christ among us. And today I want to continue our talk about taking trips. During the season of Lent, we talked about being on a journey. And today, I want to specifically talk about train trips. Have you taken a trip by train? My own really, my own really big trip by train was from Seattle to San Diego back when I was about 20. I've been fascinated by trains though since I was a child because there were train tracks right behind our home. Now, they were only freight trains. There was no passenger trains. So my brother and I would often stand close to the tracks and wave to the engineers who would wave back. I like trains. Ron and I and some friends even rode the New Mexico Rail Runner from Albuquerque to Santa Fe and back just for fun, getting off in Santa Fe to walk around and have lunch. Some people travel by train for work. Probably the very most famous is President Joe Biden, who often has talked about how he took the train from Delaware to DC to his offices in the Senate and then back home to his sons at night. Life could be considered to be like a journey on a train. There are stations and people getting on and off. At birth, we boarded the train of love and met our parents and family. As time goes by, other people will board that train. Our siblings, friends, our own children and grandchildren, and the loves of our lives. Many will step down and leave a permanent vacuum. Others, when they get off, will go unnoticed so that we may not even realize they've gotten off the train. This train ride, the train ride of life and faith, is full of joy and sorrow, new sights, unexpected stops, filled and unfulfilled expectations. Hellos and goodbyes. I believe the train we're riding is the love train. God 
is the train engineer. Jesus is the conductor welcoming everyone on board. The good news on this train is everyone's got a first class seat and all are welcome in the dining car, feasting at God's table. There's lots of stops. This is not an express. People are able to get on and off as they choose. But the good news is the love train's got lots of cars for people of all faiths and no faith. All are welcome on God's love train. There are some well-known train stories. And probably one of the most famous is The Little Engine That Could. One of the most famous train stories of all. You know, actually, it was first heard as part of a sermon back in 1906. The story goes, just to remind you, that a little train filled with good food and toys for children across the mountain becomes exhausted and can't go any further. The clown ringleader of the toys attempts to find help with several locomotives, but is rebuffed first by a pompous passenger engine who considers himself just too grand for the task. Second, by a powerful freight engine who views himself as too important. And by an elderly engine who lacks the strength or the determination to help the toys. The little blue engine appears last, and although perhaps reluctant, always rises to the occasion and saves the day for the children over the mountain. Saying, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. The children's writer, Shel Silverstein, wrote a spin on that story called The Little Blue Engine that I want to share with you now. This is from Shel Silverstein's book, Where the Sidewalk Ends. The Little Blue Engine looked up at the hill. His light was weak, his whistle was shrill. He was tired and small, and the hill was tall. And his face blushed red as he softly said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. With a squeak and a creak and a toot and a sigh, with an extra hope and an extra try, he would not stop. Now he neared the top and strong and proud, he cried out loud, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. He was almost there when, crash, smash, bash, he slid down and mashed into engine hash on the rocks below, which goes to show if the track is tough and the hill is rough, thinking you can just ain't enough. Well, that's not the story that we're familiar with, but maybe it's a good reminder that we can't do it alone. We need each other and we need Jesus. It's good to have a positive attitude, to be optimistic, but that's not always enough. Prayer is not always enough. We need to connect with one another. We need to take action to live in community. I want to pause for a moment to talk about suicide. During the past year, we have seen a number of suicides in Taos County, both young and older people, people who have felt despair. If you know of someone or hear someone who might be considering suicide, ask them directly, are you thinking of hurting yourself or ending your life? Ask, do you have a plan? Do you have the means? And if those yield positive answers, yes, I'm thinking about ending my life. Yes, I have a plan. Yes, I've got the pills or 
I've got a gun. Call 911. Get the person to an ER. Praying for those who are hurting is a great start, but it's not enough. We need to help one another. We need to invite people to get on board the train of love, to get on board with us. There is room for everybody. God's train is a love train. I invite you to hear Jesus calling, All aboard! Your ticket has been paid in full. And this train, this train is bound for glory. Get on board. And invite others to get on board too. Amen. Will you join with me in prayer? God of the resurrection, we have gathered this morning to hear again the amazing news that you have raised your son, Jesus Christ, from the dead. And that Jesus is inviting all of us to board the love train. May we invite others to join us on the train of love, knowing that there's room for everyone. Oh Lord, hear the prayers of our hearts. May we live with the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples on our lips as we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for all the ways you ride the train of love and invite others to hop on. Your financial support helps to keep it possible for us to keep the love train rolling at El Poblito. You can donate online at elpoblitoumc.org or drop a check off at the church or mail a check in. May God bless the offerings that we bring, that they might further his work in our world. Through Christ our King we pray. Amen. You're invited to join us for Zoom worship. We meet at 11 a.m. Mountain Time. Please contact me at elpoblitoumc at gmail.com and I'll send you a link. And now, let's sing along with Claire. Amen. All aboard the love train. Mm -hmm.